there are so many things, you know, during the last segment I said, there are things that you have to put in place. Um, as, a, as a businessman or a businesswoman, you have to be well prepared, you know, to run a very effective business. Um, that preparation is, you know, all the things that you put in place in terms of, you know, sales, marketing, you know, your business plan, um, you know, your, your financing, you know, everything you have to put that in place so that you can run a very effective business. And uh, like you said, there are so many, you know, businesses, you know, in each corner, which mostly they are so proprietary, which, you know, basically in, in any modern world, you know, 80% of businesses are run by sole proprietorship and uh, in order to run a very effective business you have to be well prepared and now um well prepared can we look at um, things like leadership and management yes in the business um, set up yes um these two things are different leadership and management these are completely two different uh entities or two different things because sometimes people are confused between leadership and management. Well, leaders basically, uh, they inspire people. Um, they are innovation, innovators, you know, they, they are visionaries. You know, leaders are people who set goals for the business. Managers are people who run the business, okay, and uh, they, they must be uh, expert in, in sales, you know, they must know how to budget things and uh, how to manage employees, you know, um, how to basically run the business, you know, to, to run the project. So, but leaders, leaders are there, okay, to set the, the goals, the mission, so that the, the managers can, can run the business. So, in other words, you know, managers are people who implement the, 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 the projects or the business, but the leaders are people who who has the vision, who has the goals and ob objectives to say that this is what we're going to do and it's the manager who will run uh, uh, the business, who will implement that, in other words. Um, if you look at our contemporary settings, you know, mm -hmm. you, you, you normally see um, where somebody mm -hmm. will be the leader and at the same time the, the, the manager or be the impact of the management team. Do you think there's any advantage or risk Yes, somebody can be a leader at the same time, being a manager at the same time. So that means you have to have uh, double skills, what I call double skills in, in management. Because, because in, in business, you have to have certain kind of skills to run your business. So you can see that somebody can be a leader, but at the same time, they cannot be a manager. But you can see somebody who can be both, who can be a leader at the same time being a manager. So you see that mostly in um, small businesses, you know, in, in, in partnership, because, because with that, you know, you have a small staff, okay? So that small staff, you know, usually being a leader, okay, you, you set the goals for, for, for that organization. And at the same time, you manage uh, the business to, to flourish, you know, or to, to grow. So you can be a, manage, a leader at the same time being a manager. That can happen, yes. Okay. And be before moving further, um, sometimes if you look at um, some of our business establishments, um, especially the local ones, mm -hmm. you know, when I say local ones, um, not necessarily the corporate big ones, mm -hmm. but, but you see that um, the, that is in sole proprietorship. Mm -hmm. You see the owner or the proprietor, like the whole business, you know, evolves around here. Mm -hmm. And is there the danger where if the proprietor goes, like on sudden death, for instance, mm -hmm. comes, the business also follows him to the graveyard? Is, that the, is there any possibility of something of that nature? Well, like I always tell people, uh, when you establish a business, whether it's a small business, partnership, or a corporation, the business is not about you, the individual, okay? You have to separate the business from you basically the owner because the reason I said that you know you have to build that business to you know you have to create a brand brand name for that business you know I will give you an example if you see um, you know uh, so many small businesses fail it's because you know 
the owners basically concentrate solely on themselves. So the business to them is secondary to them. And it's not supposed to be like that. You know, you have to give priority to that business force. And then you, the owner, you can become the second. Because the reason I said that is uh, people sometimes uh, will know you as an individual, but they will not know the business. But if, let's say, for God forbid, you are gone, okay, people will not remember about the business. They will remember about you, the owner. And, and usually that's when the business too collapse and it follows you to the graveyard. And nobody wants that. You want when you start a business, you want your business to grow. Okay, and uh, you know, that grow, you know, you want people to, to work for you, even, you know, a family member. Even you are going to groom a family member, a son, a nephew, a niece, somebody who you know is very competent to run this business, you know, during your absence. I think that's what people need to consider now in, in, in this moment generation try and uh, groom somebody you know somebody like I said family member or you know that you trust who can help you to to uh, take that business to the next level at least that will ensure a smooth transition transition okay. exactly right. and and sometimes like I said when when it's all about you okay and it's not about the business so you find it difficult to groom somebody because you might think that uh, your management style you know, and that person's management style will not work. But sometimes, you know, you have to bring somebody in who you can train and who you can trust. You show them that this is the way I run my business and this is the way I want you to run it. And uh, that's when you see smooth transition. Okay. The success of a business likely depend on the, the, the management team you, you, you develop. What kind of management team are we now talking about? Well, <laughs> that's the most important thing and uh, that's the most difficult thing uh, most leaders face. Because, you know, a, 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 being a leader, in fact, you know, you have to surround yourself with competent people, okay? People that Sometimes, as a leader, you might not see certain things, mm -hmm. okay, but the people around you, they will see certain things that you will not see, and they can tell you, okay, this is the way we, we need to, because being a leader, remember, you inspire, and you are, you, you, in, uh, you are, you innovate, you are, you are innovator, and at the same time, you inspire. But managers, basically, people around you, they are, you know, what I call your leftiness. These are people who will help you to succeed, because, because uh, for you to be successful, these are people that are experts in, 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 in marketing, in sales, in finance, in production, engineering. These are, these are people with that expertise. And uh, they are the people who can you know, help you to run your business effectively and to take it to the next level. So without no competent managers, okay, it's very difficult for your business to go to the next level. Now, if you look at um, another thing, you know, when we talk about business, is strategic planning. Is it important for a business establishment to have a strategic I mean, plan or to, to work on? <laughs> <laughs> well, strategic planning, um, to me, I think is the most important element in anything. It's not only in business. Even you as an individual, strategic planning is something that uh, companies, businesses survive on. Because it's when the management team or the owner or the leadership, that's when they set goals and objectives for the company. This is when they, they will say, okay, next year, this is what we are going to do. And uh, in the next six months, this is what we are going to do. In, in the next five years, this is what we are going to do. And uh, they put everything in writing, okay? And uh, usually the, the, the leadership can, or the, the leader, you know, basically, which is the CEO or the, or the managing director, can, you know, invite his line managers, okay, to say, okay, this is, this is, this is what we're going to do in the next uh, two years, in the next year, or in the next six years. So every business has to have a strategic planning because it's when, without a strategic planning, trust me, it's like, um, you know, a bus driver driving a car or a bus. Just, just driving around. He doesn't know where he's going. But with a strategic planning, it will tell you, okay, the things you want to achieve for your organization. 
So whether it's business, whether it's any, anything, even your personal life, 